Today I'm showing you how to make three more treat ideas perfect for Christmas. To start, I'm going to show you how to make this super cute snowman bowl perfect for holding in your treats. First, you want to blow up your balloons. I've blown up some water balloons because I found they're a good size for me, but feel free to use some bigger balloons. You then want to melt your white chocolate into the microwave until it's nice and smooth. So I'm going to take my first balloon and I'm going to dunk it into the chocolate. So once you've dunked your balloon in, let any of the excess chocolate drip off and then we're going to place it onto a baking tray lined with greaseproof paper. Moving on to the next one. Place them in the fridge until set and then once set, you may want to dip the balloons again to make the chocolate a bit thicker. To finish your snowmen, you want to grab a paintbrush or an end of a stick and you want to dot two eyes and a mouth using some milk chocolate. For the nose, I'm using an orange peanut butter M&M. If you want to see more treat ideas perfect for this Christmas, you can watch my video here. Lastly, pop the balloon and fill with your chosen treats. If you don't want to eat them straight away, you can leave the cups in the fridge. Next, I'm going to show you how to make these chocolate spoons perfect for your hot chocolate. First, you want to grab your plastic spoon. I've chosen a bit of a deeper one so I can get a bit more chocolate onto the spoon. You'd want to place that into your melted chocolate, making sure you cover the back of the spoon, and then you want to spoon some chocolate on top and getting rid of any excess. I'm just going to wipe the back off and place that onto some greaseproof paper. I'm going to wait just a few minutes before sprinkling over some sprinkles. I'm using some Christmas coloured sprinkles and some crushed up candy canes. I'm going to leave three plain and wait for them to completely set and then I'm going to drizzle over some white chocolate. To finish off the chocolate spoons, I'm going to wrap them up in a little treat sized bag and tie them off with a festive bow. If you make any of these, make sure to tag me on Facebook and Instagram in the Kitchen with Kate. For my last treat, I'm going to show you how to make cornflake wreaths. To start, you want to melt your butter and marshmallows in the microwave. That should take around two to three minutes. You can do it on the hob, but melt the butter first and then add your marshmallows. Once it's all melted, you want to add in your food coloring. I'm using Kelly Green from Wilton, but you can use whatever you have. And then I'm just going to keep adding it until I get my desired color. Once you have your desired color, you want to add in your cornflakes. You want to move quite quickly because the marshmallow sets up. I found these great ideas on Pinterest, so go follow me over there and you can look at the things I like to pin. Now this is the sticky bit. You want to use two spoons to help dollop mounds onto a prepared baking tray lined with greaseproof paper. Up to you how big you want these to be. We'll then go around later and tidy up our shape. Once you have your little mounds, you want to dampen your fingers with some water. And then that means you can shape your um, cornflakes without it sticking to your fingers. So you want to flatten it out. And we want to create a, a hole in the centre. You want to just dry your hands. And then you can add your little berries on. I'm using mini red M&Ms. I've also got some larger peanut butter M&Ms as well, so up to you how big you want your berries. Repeat that with the rest of your wreaths and then you want to pop them on the side until they're fully set. So that is three treats perfect for Christmas. Easy. For more videos, subscribe to my channel. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to leave any requests in the comment box below.